Daryl Hazel's taking Kent State to a bowl game, and then he'll head for another job. Hazel made the announcement today, saying he has accepted an offer to become the head coach at Purdue University in Indiana. He says he's grateful for the opportunity at Kent, but this is a new opportunity for him. He says he'll miss the players. When you live seven days a week with these guys, all hours of the clock, you get close to people, and that's why you become emotional. 17. Hazel led Kent State to an 11 and 2 record this season. The Golden Flashes play in the Go Daddy Bowl on January 6th. And we have continuing coverage on this story. National 5's Kristen Volk spent some time on the Kent State campus today to gauge the reaction. And what did you hear, Kristen? Danita, the feelings from students and staff were really across the board. There were some people who felt angry and betrayed, yet others were genuinely happy for the coach who made football at Kent State popular again. It's terrible that he's leaving, going to another school. The Grinch stole Christmas this year for Kent State student Alyssa Jernigan. I'm just mad. So is sophomore Osmo Morales. I just can't believe he left. After learning that Kent's head football coach, Daryl Hazel, is moving on. I got the offer yesterday about 4.30 and accepted the job last night about 9 o'clock. Uh, to go coach, be the head coach at Purdue University. Hazel not only led the football team to one of its best seasons in school history, students say he changed the culture here. Definitely got people turning heads, saying like, you know, wow, we can really do something with these players. It was great to get that, that spirit going around in Kent. Freshman Austin Whitlatch is trying to keep his spirit up despite the news. Whitlatch is walking onto the football team next semester. It was heartbreaking, but I mean, it was good for him because that's a, it's a good job. I'm sure money was a huge issue. And Others here aren't surprised by Hazel's departure. They say it's the business of college sports. Coaches come and coaches go. Kent groundskeeper Clarence Freeman has met a lot of the school's coaches over his 24-year tenure. He's a big fan of Coach Hazel. And I've seen the program down for a lot of years, you know. And for him to come in and do what he did, it was an amazing run. Credits him for putting Kent State football back on the map. And the program will keep on moving on up. And wishes him the best at Purdue. Good luck and great job. Thanks for the ride. A lot of people I spoke to today say they're confident that Kent State will get another good coach and they're hopeful that Hazel will coach their bowl game on January 6th, helping his players go on to victory. On your side, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.